Welcome to Airstream Wheeler. Please like, subscribe, click that notification bell. It really helps our channel. The subscribers asked us about our IKEA drawer modification. This was the pantry cabinet in the Airstream. It had a wire rack type pantry that really wasn't very effective and it was kind of rickety. What we've done is actually modify the door to be a drawer face and then add a second kind of hidden drawer up top for all our larger kitchen utensils. Um, it's going to take a few minutes and show everybody how they work. I'm going to take this door off quick to do and it'll make it easier to see. You can see this is holding our cast iron pots, holds plenty of weight. These drawers are on 100 pound Austrian made Blum glides. I'm just going to pop this, loose, remove the drawer. You can see that they're heavy duty. On this side, I mounted the glide to the cabinet wall with two screws. Now on the left side, I used two strips to shim it out to space for the hinge. This is a 15 inch Ikea cabinet drawer and it's designed to go in their 15 inch Ikea cabinet base. So knowing that the drawer width is 13 inches, I was able to pad out the side to give me the right width. And when, again, aiming for 13 and a half to 13 and a quarter, it allows it to fit perfectly in here and clear the hinge on the left side. Now this is the most difficult drawer to reinstall because the clearance for the plumbing trap is very close. So the way to put it back in is to set it on the glides and try to nestle it back in because it needs to be settled before it goes by that plumbing. And there it is. Once it's settled, it runs just right. So there's a little decorative cover that I'm removing here. And what I'm going to do is release a screw, if I can find it. There's a little screw here that if you turn it backwards, it releases the face. Now this face that I had was actually broken, so I have these obvious screws that attach this way. What's important to see here is that this hardware can be attached to any piece of wood to make a drawer face. So that's essentially what we did over here, is that that's the same piece holding this on and we've converted a door to a drawer face. I really like that it retains the stock appearance. You'd never know we've modified this cabinet from the outside. So to line up the drawer face hardware to attach to the drawer. It can be a little fiddly to get your spacing exactly right, but it was well worth it for this installation. So once you line it up, it'll just pop back and lock and you'll be sure that it's locked into place if you hear it click in. Now, I like that with the door back on, the shim doesn't really show, and the spacing works with the hinge so that everything opens up cleanly. I hope you found this useful. I've done this modification to update house cabinets, RV cabinets, and here in my own Airstream. 
I'm not a custom cabinet maker, but this modification gives us a significant improvement in our storage space, and it's not terribly time consuming or difficult to do.